My name is Tim Shea. I'm the primary author of ARC's recently published research on multi-phase flow metering solutions. This is a global market research study. The scope of the research that we're discussing today is uh, looking at multi-phase flow measurement technologies. And I want to clarify that for purposes of what was included and what was excluded from the research, the scope of this research excluded single and dual phase flow measurement devices. We also excluded uh, multi-phase test separators and also what some would say production separators as well as partial separators also known as compact cyclonic degassers. We did cover from a qualitative perspective an emerging area of virtual flow metering solutions in which we highlighted the market dynamics, a little bit about the market size and some of the noteworthy players in that space today. As it relates to the scope of the multi-phase flow measurement technologies, we segmented the market into two major technology categories. Those are units that are radioactive based and non-radioactive based. And there's much more detail into this respective technologies that each supplier is deploying in their profiles and also some more extensive discussion in the uh, scope chapter. But we felt that the, the way to really cleanly segment the market was radioactive based units and non-radioactive based units. We provided forecast also on average selling prices and unit counts in that regard. Some of the key segmentations I want to highlight obviously would be on the project locations, that of being onshore deployments, offshore being top side platforms, and then obviously the, the uh, largest segment of subsea, which is where all the production equipment is primarily located on the ocean floor. The study goes into great detail about a number of the key applications today and those that will be uh, growing the fastest over the forecast period, such as custody transfer, physical monitoring, and others where we see the potential for, for adoption in the future as the technologies of multi-phase flow metering solutions improves in terms of primarily accuracy, repeatability, and reliability. Obviously, the study itself will provide great detail in terms of the market size, forecast, along a number of key segmentations provide detailed analysis on uh, supplier market shares, their positioning on a number of different uh, key segments, including project locations, applications, measurement configuration, which suppliers are providing services and which would deploy a multi-phase full metering solution which they themselves manufacture. And so we wanted to highlight some of the suppliers that were covered in the research. And one thing I do want to say is that the forecasts that we developed for this particular study are much more robust than one would find for a typical flow measurement type of uh, market forecast. Tremendous opportunity in this space, and we'll talk a little bit about some of the major reasons why. Some of the key drivers are in terms of just the sheer number of wells that are out there today producing oil and or gas, and those, the 100 plus thousand that are drilled every year, and a number of these wells can benefit from a deployment of a multi-phase flow metering solution. So we think that the potential market opportunity itself is rather extensive and quite attractive. The primary driver that I wanted to growth and adoption will be in the actual product performance of the multi-phase flow metering solutions themselves and the validation of that performance by independent testing organizations such as NEL, RIPC, and others that are working on doing independent testing to give users greater assurance and confidence in the performance of these units. We obviously believe that the need for real-time multi-phase flow measurement is critical and is a major reason why a number of major owner operators have been working with some of the suppliers and in joint industry projects to ensure that the technology development is sufficient to meet their requirements in a number of different projects, subsea, primarily, but also offshore and onshore. Some of the, the inhibitors of multi-phase flow meter adoption, number one, these solutions have been around for almost two decades now. The, the primary inhibitor has been the, just the pure challenge in conducting real-time multi-phase or multi-component measurement. The dearth of larger volumes has led to a uh, higher price for many of these solutions because the complexity of incorporating and integrating a number of different measurement technologies and also some of the material science involved in terms of designing units, particularly in the subsea segment, to handle uh, high pressures, high temperatures, corrosive environments, and things of that sort has, has these price tags on the low end for an onshore system of maybe $100,000 
to potentially as much as a million dollars or more for certain subsea uh, units to meet extreme conditions deep under the ocean. As a result of this long-term emerging market, if you will, end users have been somewhat cautious in terms of investing until they see the performance of the units meeting their requirements. So that's one of the major inhibitors, but we think that the, the technologies have improved and the validation of that performance improves. We think the adoption rate is going to be pretty robust over the next three to five years. Some of the strategies that we recommend for primarily suppliers would be continue to invest, obviously, in the product development, the research and development, if you will, into uh, cutting-edge measurement technologies that will bring the level of accuracy closer to what would be required of fiscal monitoring applications or even custody transfer, increasing the reliability and repeatability of the solutions, and just really making it a much more of a less of an objection for the user to invest in a multi-phase monitoring solutions, at least from the perspective of performance, because the, the needs are there for real-time well testing, real-time uh, well monitoring, production allocation. There's a number of different benefits that we, we've discussed in great detail in the study of which the pertinent desire to suppliers in the market today, as well as those suppliers that are considering launching a solution in the next 6 to 12 months. We, we recommend that suppliers continue to message the, the benefits of a multi-phase flow metering solution deployment and educating the user in terms of some of the tangible metrics they can see in terms of increasing rate of recovery, better understanding of the reservoir to tie that back into greater production allocation and more effective productivity of the well, and obviously we think that would lead to greater profitability as well. So basically it's about product performance, messaging, and deploying these solutions to the end user. Amongst the recommendations of end users, we find to work with suppliers and independent testing organizations to ensure that the solutions that they're going to test drive will be more likely than not to meet their requirements in terms of accuracy, repeatability, and reliability, and also that users should be seeking out suppliers that are willing to be long-term partners and not just someone that's looking to sell a flow measurement solution today. There's a number of different reasons why people would want to invest in some of the market intelligence, uh, but of those of suppliers that are certainly currently in the market today or those that are considering entering in the market over the next 6 to 12 months or, or, or so to help them better understand their competitive landscape, what are some of the requirements of the user community, what are some of the drivers and potential inhibitors so that they can design effective sales and marketing campaigns designed to overcome those concerns that end users may have. This obviously is going to be used in a sales and marketing resource allocation, particularly in things like channels, strategy development, you know, how to best maximize their, their reach in certain markets and, and customer base. Obviously, we have the financial community who may be tracking a number of these companies and wanting to cons perhaps consider making some kind of investment in these uh, companies and they want to better understand the, the market development, uh, what's the market potential in the future. And then we've, we've provided some specific recommendations to end users that may be considering a strategic investment in a multi-phase flow metering solution. What are some of the factors that they should consider uh, in that regard? So if you're interested in learning more about it, we recommend you go to arcweb.com, and I recommend that you ask to learn more about our MIRA, which is our online market intelligence rapid analysis tool, which has been quite popular and quite effective in allowing the, uh, the customer to better uh, maximize the data manipulation that's provided in the research. And in closing, if you'd like to get more information, you can contact me directly at tiche at arcweb.com certainly call us at 781-471-1000. We want to make sure that this research meets your needs so that you can get a tangible return on investment. I wanted to thank you for, for listening to this video and uh, hope you have a nice day.